What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over how to set up your E-Trade Pro software. Check it out. Alright guys, so when you log into your E-Trade Pro software, you have, um, you know, your, your, your um, toolbar section up here. Uh, you can take all of this out if you wanted to. Uh, here you can toggle between your different accounts if you have more than one. I have more than one account. Uh, so I'm using my my test account. It's an account I used to test and mess around with some OTCs once in a blue moon. Uh, right now there's no money in that account. Um, so the reason why I don't put my other account up there is because I don't like to share my balance at this time online. Uh, I don't know how safe that is. I see people do it sometimes and I don't really like that idea man like you're putting out there oh yeah my trading account here has a hundred thousand dollars what no <laughs> so I don't really put that information out there at least not right now man if in the future I feel like it's safe and it's fine then yeah I'll show it there like I've told you guys before I trade anywhere between 15 to twenty thousand dollar in my account at any given time in the future it could be less it could be more just depends what I do with my money remember I'm self-employed I need access to my capital for other investments so that's uh that's the way that works for me so up here um you'll have tools and here you have your various accounts margin uh, calculator order entry order status and here's where you can pick all your different boxes for all your different tools that you might want to use okay so uh as you can see we're starting off here with a blank slate there's nothing on there at all and uh, one of the very first things we could do is Grab an order status box. As you can see, I traded today. So that would be your order status box. And now you can make this as big or small as you want. You can shrink these little boxes here, make them smaller or bigger, however you want. Um, you can also uh, link, it, link it with different uh, setups that you can do. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, let's see, can you right click? You can right click it here, go into settings. And then you can change, you see status, date, time, order type, quantity, all or none, symbol, etc. You can change all of that and you can add things to it and take away from it just by clicking from here. So let's say we wanted to add description. We would click description and click here. And now we click OK. And it should be here somewhere eventually. There it is, description. So you can do that, and now this you would want to, you know, make it the size that you want it, like you want it to be for whatever, you know, let's say we're going to put it there in the middle. Now we need to, uh, this is quick trades. I don't use this. I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, this is so you can buy stuff basically on market orders just by clicking that button uh, on a pre uh, typed out quantity basis. I don't I don't use that if I want to mark order order in I do it differently uh, And I'll show you here how I set up my trading. Okay, so This is one box one type. Of, oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah, here it is. This is one type of box that I use for entering my orders You type in your symbol here EDSA, which is what I traded today for example, and now I can buy you know it shows you the bid the ask the volume on the day uh, I don't use this as like my my main order entry i use this like i've showed you in my other video how to set up stop losses mainly to do my stop and i'll set up another one just to do my limit orders to exit um let's see what else do we have here that i normally use well you got your charts but we'll get to that market depth which is really your level two see now this is what i like to do and the reason why i like to do this is because i used to trade with das das trader and with DAS, I would trade right off of my montage. I'm used to that. I'm comfortable with it. So that's how I trade on E-Trade. You come here. You see this says here, show order entry. You click that little arrow and boom. Now I can place my orders right off of my level two right here. Now I can organize my level two as well, right? Let's make this a little bit more comfortable to work with. So we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger right there or bring this down as you can see they click they'll highlight and click together as you can see that now you see this here i don't like this i don't use that so we can always remove that momentum bar click it now it's gone 
you want it back on there you right click again you go to momentum bar you click it and there it is again I don't like the momentum bar so I get rid of it gone now here I like to clean this up too as well you see you have your symbol your news if it has news it'll say news here or not this moves around too much I don't want to distract you so let's get away from that so see like for example the DSA has news so here we go with the news right there bang now it shows you the last trade uh, it shows you the change on the day uh, dollar wise it's up two dollars and change the change on the day percentage wise it's up 55 percent on the day and it shows you the high and low total volume and the exchange it's on so we can actually if here we go I'm sorry oh, there we go okay so you just right click like anywhere right in here and you can come here to settings and now you can change all of this let's say I don't want to see the dollar amount change from open so you click it I'm sorry let's say you don't want to see the dollar change you see it right here now we want to remove it I don't want to see the percentage change on there either we remove it um, I want to see the days high and the days low that's fine and uh, exchange of the last trade. I don't want I don't care about that the exchange in the last trade don't care uh, news I want the symbol I want the news I want the last uh, I don't care about the last trade actually so we'll remove that boom so now I'm gonna clean this up tremendously I'm just gonna leave the total volume the low the high the news and the symbol now picture this I uh, focus on this and watch what happens when I click okay boom super nice and clean now super nice and clean now and I, and I can make these boxes smaller or bigger as I desire as well all right uh, let's see we can make the the montage as well smaller or bigger we could do this to all of them so there you go now you got yourself two order entry boxes right there you have your order status box right here okay now we can come on over here and uh, grab a chart now we have our chart right there set up and ready to rock and roll yeah I got a little OCD here so you'll see me fix these things and make them complete um, so now for the chart itself what can we do here we can do a number of things and I'm not gonna go over everything we can do to it today just because it'll be the video will be way too long and I, I can break it up into different series so here it can show me or I can place orders right out of the chart I don't like any of that so I start to uh, show quote values boom I start getting rid of all of this zoom buttons don't need that don't need that track current price don't need that either so there my charts cleaned up now right so we can click right here do you see this little arrow can you see that yeah right there boom okay so you see that little arrow we click that we can come here to themes and we can go dark theme light theme light theme makes it all white as you can see don't really like it uh, I'm sorry where is it again themes we can go custom theme and that's what I like right there the all black okay now let's say I want to add a study to this like like VWAP you see up here daily compare studies so now we come here to studies and we click um, all studies we go to VWAP, so that's V, v VWAP is right there. Boom, you can change the color if you want. I typically do change the color and make it purple. Now you see VWAP is right there. Now, there is a whole lot more you can do to this, right? You can add other studies if you want. The candles here, you see how they're hollow? How these, these green candles are just, you know, they're just an outline. Well, you can come in here and nope sorry click candle and there they are complete regular candles like we're used to now there's another little trick here you see how this is on qqq this is on edsa well we want to link all these things up together because when i type a ticker here i want it to populate on my chart automatically i don't have time to be fiddling around with typing in here typing in here typing it up here so we want all of this to link so we're going to come here we're going to click link one 
going to come here, click link one. We're going to come here and click link one. Now, when we come over here, let's say we type DRYS, everyone goes to DRYS. And that's the whole point of that. So now we have one order box here, our level two with time and sales here, and another order box. We have a chart. We have our order status box. What else can we add on here? Well, we can just click here and we can add a watch list box. Boom. Now we set up our watch list there. And you just come here, EDSA, and now it shows you here that it has news. It shows you all this information here. You can customize that as well. Okay, you can customize all that as well by clicking, uh, by right clicking on the box here and go to display. And here you can customize, you have your different columns. So you go to columns here and you can change what you see here. So we can get rid of this, we can leave news, we can get rid of last trade, uh, we can get rid of that if you want. You can just leave, leave the bid asking volume which is how I like to set up my watch list. And there we go. Now we, we can set up our watch list right there and we're ready to trade. What else can we add? You can come over here to tools. You can click, um, where is it? Accounts. And here you go. So now this will show you your open positions when you have an open position. You can, you know, Put that wherever you want here. Boom. And then when you enter a position, it'll show it there. Okay. Well, now you still have this big old box here. What do we do with that? Well, you can do anything you really want. You can leave it blank. You can set up another smaller chart. Or you can come right on over here and click the live TV, which is what I like to do. Make sure... You can come here, click the TV. So now you're up to date on the latest news on the market. And again, you can make this any size you want. And there you go. You got yourself a little setup right there. You got yourself a chart, level two, and you can customize everything how I showed you. And you're ready to rock and roll. You can organize this as you want. You can also come over here and click these different tabs down here and have different sections. So like here I have a calendar with you know all the economic news for the month. And I have it here titled news and events. So you can do that type of stuff as well. Now there's more I can show you uh, here on, on the eTrade Pro platform, but for now I think this is a real good starting point. If you have any questions or you want me to do another video uh, diving into more depth on some of this, let me know what it is, drop it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to go over that. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one.